This is me speaking to the mic at one feet. This is me speaking to the mic at one feet. This is me speaking to the mic at one feet. This is me speaking to the mic at two feet. This is me speaking to the mic at two feet. This is me speaking to the mic at two feet. This is me speaking to the mic at three feet. This is me speaking to the mic at three feet. This is me speaking to the mic at three feet. This is me speaking to the mic at four feet. This is me speaking to the mic at four feet. This is me speaking to the mic at four feet. This is me speaking to the mic at five feet. This is me speaking to the mic at five feet. This is me speaking to the mic at five feet. All right, guys. So I'm going to review um the Zoom three mic M three mic. Uh, it's a shotgun mic. I bought this off on Amazon. It was about one forty nine something like that plus tax um so the mic came with um the um the shock mount that's what they call it right the shock the shock mount here this is it let me just undo it so i can see it oh uh, so so it came with it this is it you just um put on top of your camera so like i said it's a shotgun mic also it came with um this um uh, the wind um whatever it called i can't can't remember the name anyways so this is the mic is built of plastic um well the plastic the plastic quality is not that good in my opinion but um it's not too bad right it's not too bad and it came with the cable this is the cable that you connect on you put inside your camera right so let's talk about the mic now so i'm gonna put this i'll take this out so here as you can see this is where you put the cable and you connect directly to your camera and over here you do have on type c charger so here's the thing though it's not chargeable right it's not chargeable but if you let's say you do have a v mount battery um and you don't have down the aa battery you can connect that directly to your v mount battery and make it work it's not like you have to charge it and then take it off uh and start using it so for you to use it without a battery you need to have it permanently uh you know continuously in charge for that to work right in case you don't have that you can also use um aa battery you know you need two batteries on here um in case you just you need it right so this is about it let me put this back and let me talk about this side here on this side you do have um the headphone jack headphones and you do have the plus you know minus uh, for the volume and on the back here this is where you put your sd micro card all right i'll talk about it in a second and when you come on top here right so this is pretty much the mic here and on top here you do have the um, let me start here first this is the power button i can see it this is the power button you power the mic on the good thing about this mic is 32 bit so 32 bit means the mic doesn't clip or uh, if if there's uh, some clips or it clips on during the recordings what you can do uh, when you do the editing, you can always fix the voice. Let's say it was too low, you can bring it up and you're still going to get a great sound. Or let's say it was too loud, you can still bring it down and you're going to get a great sound. That's the, um, the benefit of it because it's 32 bit, right? So this is the power. So it's pretty easy. Uh, once you plug it into your camera, what you got to do, just power the mic, it started working. You don't have to do anything else, right? It's the only button that you need. So this is the stereo. So the stereo is pretty much um you know 90 to 120. I'm not a tech guy, but um based off my knowledge. So the 90 degrees helps you to record um um the subject uh, from the front and this one this um also is gonna help you to record the subject from the back. The 120 also gives like a different type of degrees that like you might record people from the, your left side, your, your right side. Because the shotgun mic, the way it works, you get the most if the subject's um, 
it's in, it's in front of the mic. That's where you get the most. But you changing the stereo, it gives you just some more room to record people to your left or right or behind you, right? This is pretty much about it, right? So the low cut, what it does, it just eliminates those on bass voice when you talk or sometimes those, you know, unwanted vo- um, sounds on, on the recordings, right? That's pretty much what it does. But um, I don't use it. What I do, I just power the mic. It works. So here's the thing. Oh, another button before I talk about the next one. This is in case you want to listen to uh, the recordings that you did or you recorded it um, from the uh, from your SD card, right? From the mic. Um, this is not from the camera because there's two types, right? So if you want to listen to recordings directly from the SD card, you press this one here. Right? You press it, you listen to it, and you can pause it whenever you want, right? This is it. So here's the thing. You have two options to record. Like I say, you can just either power the mic directly plug into your uh, your camera is gonna record is going to record the sound direct directly to the camera. And once you take the SDR SD card uh, from your camera, when you put it to your Final Cut Pro, whatever tool or software that you use to to do your editing, the sounds always gonna be already gonna be there with you, right? But in case you want to record both, right? You want to record directly to the camera and record it to uh, the SD card. You you would have to press this one here. The only time you press this one here when you want to record it to the uh, to your SD card as well because these uh, it's it's separate, right? They're all separate, right? So the SD card gives you the 32 bit that I spoke about at the beginning, right? You, you know you can adjust it, you can fix the sound. But the one that goes directly to your camera doesn't give you the 32 bit. But overall, I use this. It sounds amazing. It was picking sounds from like far. I was at a restaurant, right? I was eating. I was doing some videos there. So I was like, I don't know. I was like far away from, you know, you know from the road. But I was picking sound of cars from the road. But um, I also have, um, I did um, a test a sound test for you guys so i'm going to play that next right now um i think i cover everything yeah that's pretty much everything so yeah i'm just going to um you know play the sound test that i did all right